today I would like to talk about one subject. Vietnam Triumph! Hi, I am Lieutenant Nguyễn Ngọc Khánh Linh. My name is Tung. I'm 27 years old. With more than 90,000 contestants and 1 million applicants, the 2021 Third English Olympiad for Young Officials, organized by the Central Committee of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union, marked the success in creating a positive playground, inspiring the English learning spirit, and promoted the development of international integration skills for young officers all over the country. Kheng Ling, the only young officer of the Department of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Public Security, entered this year's finale. Entering the contest for the first time, besides the nervousness, she is full of determination and pride as being one of the five contestants of the armed forces participating in the finale. This is a competition for officials at the national scale. It is a very big contest, so I'm a bit anxious and nervous. The contest took place in the context of the epidemic. This was a disadvantage for the contestants. However, together with other contestants present today, we will try our best to cheer each other on in order to get through all the rounds as well as possible. Someone is calling for help! Go! Hurry up, hurry up. Apart from the contestants of the armed forces, the competition also has contestants from business agencies and organizations across the country. All those who reached this finales are the best in their agencies. We came to this playground with the spirit of doing our best, learning and interacting with others. We might not be the best team, but we will be the team with the most determination. At the finale, the contestants were divided into five teams, including Team VZ, Team Fabulous, Team Challengers, Team DNA and Team Braveheart. Each team went through three rounds, introduction, knowledge, questions, and debate. At the end of the final round, the fabulous team with three members, including three proactive young girls, won the first prize of the competition. The second prize went to the DNA team. The third prize went to the Braveheart team. And the consolation prize went to the Challengers and VZ team. This year is a very special year. The COVID-19 pandemic is spreading everywhere. Thus, we have to adapt to the current situation and change the way the contest is conducted. This year, we basically organized this event virtually. As you have noted, the opening ceremony was held virtually online. The finale was organized both virtually and in person. This is the challenge. However, many people gave their best efforts to participate in our contest. A lot of contestants are frontline workers who are directly battling against the pandemic. Thus, I believe that they consider this contest as a beneficial playground for learning, training and improving their foreign language ability. The National English Olympic for Young Officials competition has been organized annually since 2019. This is a playground for young officials to show and train their English skills, thereby contributing to the implementation of the project, improving English competence for Vietnamese youth in the 2018-2022 period. <laughs>